Britons have hit out at Brussels after it emerged the EU is open to negotiating with the UK over its Galileo satellite navigation network. While an EU member, Britain pumped £1.2 billion into the project, which is intended to rival comparable American and Russian systems. UK involvement ended after Britain voted to leave the EU in 2016, with Prime Minister Theresa May saying the government would focus on alternatives. In 2020 the UK spent £364 million buying a major stake in satellite company OneWeb, which was near collapse. OneWeb is hoping to build a network of satellites that can deliver internet to anywhere in the world, rivaling SpaceX program Starlink. However in June Timo Pesanen, head of the Directorate General for Defence Industry and Space of the European Commission, indicated Britain could still have a role with Galileo. He commented, the European Union is open to negotiate with the UK on its participation in the EU space programmes. The ball is in London, not here. Express.co.uk readers urged the government to be cautious about the overture from Brussels, noting it could cost the UK even more money. One wrote, rumour is that they have hit a stumbling block and the only way out of the mess is to get the UK experts back on it. Boris should tell them to go sling their hook, they will take our expertise and then dump us out of it when no longer needed. A second commented, three reasons why the EU would have this change of heart. One, they need our technological expertise and input. Two, they want us to pump more money into it. 3. They are terrified of our system being better and outperforming Galileo. Could be all three as well. A third added, more importantly it needs access to UK territory for base stations. It will need a shed load more money though, as the failure rate for the clocks on the satellites is so high they may never be able to replace them fast enough. A fourth said, on no account should the UK get involved with the EU on Galileo, or anything else, for that matter. The government has set ambitious targets for the UK's space program. It wants Britain to have 10% of the global space industry by 2030. Spaceport Cornwall is hoping to have its first launch in 2021, with Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit launching satellites into space from the site. Speaking to Express.co.uk Melissa Thorpe, head of the project, said, the UK are actually quite heavy hitters in satellite manufacturing. I think people are surprised to know that, but they have been for years. Creating this launch capability here in the UK is just to be able to secure that marketplace. At the moment all these satellites are being built here but they're all being shipped overseas to launch. So the UK government identified an opportunity, if we can launch them here we can really grow the whole launch market and the manufacturing market all around the UK. There are also a number of proposals for the UK's first vertical launch rocket site in Scotland. Musthrope argued Britain has a decreasing window of opportunity to secure the European market for satellite launches.